Hey everyone, how are you doing? How was your holiday, your Thanksgiving with friends, family, etc.? Ours was quite cool. We had kind of a neat thing happen. Um, so first of all, the topic for today, the Lord gave me. The Lord said, how fast would you like your healing or your breakthrough? How fast? So I was talking to him about you know, raw food and what brings healing, what are, where, where I really see the best results, you know, in the improvements in digestion, the improvements in um, energy and the reduction in inflammation, achiness, pains, all that stuff. You know, I'm, I'm approaching 50. I've got a few years yet, but so there's, you know, there's those kind of things <laughs> sometimes that... <laughs> uh, just need to be wise about to choose the very best, right, for the system. So that's what I heard the Lord say today. So go, quick going back to um, the Thanksgiving cool stuff that happened, and then we'll jump into our topics. So we got to go with another couple, and another friend came as well, and two things happened. One of the ladies that was supposed to come with us just had trouble finding the restaurant, and she had been there a lot of times, but she just had some trouble that day for whatever reason. So my husband and I, we looked at each other and we were like, hmm, should we offer to bring her something? You know, so she's not sitting at home alone on Thanksgiving and by herself and everything. So we said, we both said yes, and we checked in with her. We got to bring her a little meal from the restaurant and bless her and have a wonderful little time, extra time of fellowship. So we got to be at two places that day. It was just special. And then the people that we were with blessed another family that was nearby. Um, and they just had a sense that they needed to bless, you know, bless that family. So it was this double blessing that was just extra beautiful. And then we enjoyed our fellowship and time with that other couple and friend as well. Just sharing fun things and, and jokes and stuff. It was really good. So... Please feel free to comment below and share any fun highlights from, from your family or friend time or any cool blessings that the Lord did during your um, Thanksgiving holiday. Okay, or whatever time you're watching this, some future holiday, feel free to share too. Okay, so back to our topics. So how fast do you want your healing or breakthrough? Hmm. You know, that was kind of convicting when I heard that. <laughs> it was like... That's a good point, Lord. <laughs> I haven't really answered that question fully yet, but it sure hits me like right there, right? Like in the gut and in the heart. And you're like, yeah, that's true. If I really say I want this healing and this breakthrough and I know what the answer is, um, and the Holy Spirit's been showing me how to tweak it for me to really be optimal for me and optimal for you, you know, you and the Lord doing that walk together. It's pretty convicting in a good way. So a while back, I was at a women's conference and Patricia King was there and she got a word and saw a vision of apples and celery and carrots. I knew right away, folks, this word was for me. <laughs> and uh, she asked the Lord, like, what's this about, Lord? And then she said, someone or several of us just needed to do some good cleansing on some good healthy food and our healing and our breakthroughs will come. Like, that's all we needed to do. And I knew that word was for me. So that was another reminder, for me at least, and maybe some of you, that more raw fruits and veggies and greens that we can get in our day, throughout our day, in the best order, we keep learning our best order for digestion, Easier on the digestive tract means easier on the aches and pains, easier on inflammation and all the extra stuff that we deal with. And the quicker our breakthrough and healing will come. So I believe that word is for several of us that the fact that the Lord kind of gave me a visual of doing a video today, sharing this word with you all. Um, first of all, in the groups, the free groups, if you're in here, you're getting this word first. Um, so let us know where you're at with this idea. Do you get a little nudge, a little Holy Spirit conviction? Like, oh, that word's for me too. Yeah, I, you know, how fast do I want my healing and breakthrough? Do I want to do the steps that I know that are going to bring the healing and breakthrough or not? You know, 
And if you're not there, you're not there. No biggie. But uh, if you are, great. So if you are feeling that nudge, that little Holy Spirit, yeah, me too. Drop us in the comments a little me too or yep, <laughs> I feel it. And let us know that you're, you're in this as well. Or even a, a hand, raise a hand. <laughs> if you're kind of like, I tentatively, shyly say, yeah, I know I need that too. I'm with you. You know, I haven't fully answered the question yet of how fast do I want my healing? Because who doesn't like to feast once in a while? You know, I enjoyed some Thanksgiving food and then I felt the sad consequences of that feasting, <laughs> the hard consequences. And then it took a few days and I had to get back on track. So right now I'm kind of getting back on track. I'm almost there. And um, just getting back to like raw till dinner, raw till seven kind of ideas. And those are all good baby steps you guys can take as well. You know, you can do raw till lunch, raw till dinner, and just keep growing. Don't give up, you know, just I cheer you on to keep going in that direction as we grow together towards this um, better, healthier lifestyle. It's kind of like a fasted lifestyle. The Lord um, dropped in my spirit one day. It's a, it's a fasted lifestyle, you know, and then you feast once in a while with your friends and family. <laughs> so we don't have to be 100%. I don't believe we, that we have to be 100% all the time. You know, I think it's really hard. It's been really hard for me to try to get to 100%. And I think that's um, too much pressure, really. So I think just getting as close as we can and keep growing. Just keep moving in the right step. Um, that's my opinion. So... Awesome. So if you're watching, I have one more topic if you want to stay tuned. We're going to talk a little bit more about next in line on food combinings. If you've been in my groups, we're talking about this. And I'm going to talk about that in a moment. So just before we do, if you're watching this on YouTube and you aren't already in one of my free groups, I'm going to say right here, the links will be below for you to hop in. If not, no biggie. But if you are feeling that nudge, like, yeah, I should probably do this then, um, or yes, this is for me, then hop in, you know, do the invite into one of these free groups. I have baby steps to better me. And that's that like, shy. I want to take a little step here and there and keep growing. I don't want to give up, but I'm not going to like run a race about it, you know? And the one that's going to be more running our race is fierce for my health. And that's a faster pace. There's some more advanced things mentioned in that group. And you are welcome. All right. So the second topic is the next in line of our order of food we talked about last week was good food combining. We talked about cut veggies, eating cut veggies with hummus. That was the last thing of the day I was eating. And a smart and wise move is to keep a container of these veggies. And I'm showing you an example, like a little container of cut up veggies handy to munch on with your hummus or whatever else you choose. So, ah, we're going to fall a little bit. <laughs> so that's kind of the idea. Just keeping them handy because, you know, then you may not grab the other things that you know don't make you feel good <laughs> that night or the next day. So this is just a good, wise idea. And someone had mentioned it, and I've been doing it, and it's helpful. So next in line is another raw but warm option. Hey, Michelle, thanks for joining us. <laughs> hey, hey, how is it up in uh, your neck of the woods, middle, middle America, up there somewhere? <laughs> Let us know. So the next option in line is a raw but warm soup. So you can warm up the soups, maybe just on warm in the crock pot or in a, in a blender like a Vitamix or other blender. What I have uh, studied under other people I follow is if you will warm it up just for about three minutes in a blender, you won't destroy all the enzymes in that soup, but it'll be like a nice warm thing on a chilly evening. So you can kind of end your day on something warm. So that's kind of a nice idea. I've done corn, kind of a corn chowder, and I have some other raw recipes on my Raw Jenny blog, and that link will be below after I get the videos posted. If you want to see more recipe ideas, Michelle says it's chilly with a little snow, but sunny today. Aw, beautiful. 
We've gotten chilly down here too, but probably not as chilly, <laughs> I'm guessing. And we've got sun too. I've had to actually shut the blinds because the sun was like, ah, right there. Awesome. And I've been seeing everything uh, Michelle's been doing. She's been posting amazing recipes as well. Definitely need to share a link for her as well. If, Michelle, if you want to drop your link of your recipes or anything, feel free. She's an awesome nutritionist and she does healthy, awesome recipes. So feel free to do that too. She made a big pot of sprouted lentil soup and is eating it warm now. Yum! With Moroccan spices. Yay! Awesome! <laughs> awesome, Michelle. So good. Drop us a link of any, anything you want to share with the peeps here. Okay. So yeah, so that's it for today. We're just ending on that raw soup idea and we'll drop the links of recipes and Thank you for watching. If you're on YouTube or somewhere where you can give it a like or a thumbs up or a, a heart, please do. Or you can send me a hug if you got that care emoji. <laughs> I like hugs. And share it with anyone the Lord brings to mind. Um, it'll be up on YouTube in a day or two, maybe by the end of today, we'll see. If you want to share this with anybody that the Lord brings to mind. And I am planning to do some more classes in the new year. So watch for those coming up. All right. So love you. Bless you all. Thanks, Michelle, for jumping on. And anyone else who watches later, hit uh, put the word replay so I know you stopped by and visited. <laughs> all right. Love you. Bless you all.